What's going on, people? This is Ricky J. Welcome to another EA Sports UFC 4 Fight Camp video. And in this episode, I'm going to show you guys a cool little secret on how to escape the new choke submission minigame. Now, as far as strategies are concerned, if you're doing this, this is the worst possible strategy to get away from people trying to choke you out and trying to tap you out. So I want you to forget about this strategy of you just going bonkers with the left analog stick. As we get into the Ricky J hand cam, I want you to only move that left analog analog stick in quarter and half turns. You don't want to go too slow, brother, but you don't want to go too fast. Go at a steady pace and trust me, man, you are going to escape these choke submissions. And I have an example for you right here. This is an online rank match. We're going to watch it in real time and then we are going to watch it in slow-mo and then I'm going to show you guys in this video some hand cam of me escaping legendary submission attempts. So in this situation, I'm just being very, very calm, cool, and collected. Again, moving that left analog stick, just a quarter turn here to the left, then to the right. And remember, if your opponent's bar is slightly on yours, you're still going to advance in the mini game. See how you see the the bar, the submit bar in red, and the escape bar in blue, I'm still advancing and getting to that finish line, even though my opponent is slightly on top of my bar. So you don't have to be completely away from your opponent. I think that's when a lot of people panic. You just have to be most of the way away from him, and you're going to move along in the mini game. okay? So you gotta be just so careful, so calm, moving it slightly to the left, then you could move it to the right, then to the right, then to the left. Be very unpredictable with your movements, but only focus on quarter turns mostly. And then if you have to, you can move half turns, but don't 360 it, man, because it's going to be game over. So in this situation, I did a great job at escaping. So let's move on to another example. And we're <laughs> we have the Ricky J hand cam, and this is on legendary going up against you know Ortega, one of the greatest submission artists in uh, inside the octagon. So again, look at my left analog stick. Look at my thumbs right there. I'm just moving ever so slightly, quarter turn, half turn. Then I go for a quarter turn, I'm moving away, and I escape. And um, without being cocky, I escaped that one pretty easily. And I know I had a lot of uh, stamina in, in that situation, and even in this one I had pretty good stamina, but um, I was just calm and cool. And I think a lot of people, as I'll let this roll while you watch it, I think a lot of people that have played EA Sports UFC 2 and UFC 3, they panic when it comes to this new submission game because it lasts a lot longer than those other submission games, it seems. So you just got to be so patient and so steady with your thumbs, man. And you know another thing? If you're the type of guy to panic when you get submitted or when somebody's trying to submit you and you start going crazy with your left analog stick, your bar, if you just calm down a little bit in the mini game, your bar will recover and get smaller, all right? So... Again, just be calm and cool, and um, you'll be totally fine. So here, and again, look at the speed that I'm going. I'm not going to talk third person, but look at the speed that I'm going with my left analog stick. Not too quick. But again, you don't want to go too slow because people are just going to follow you around. But you just want to make steady movements, and you will get out of it every single time. All right, people? So keep calm, cool, and collected is the name of the game. And also always remember about the counter prompts that come up because they could save you from getting submitted. I know people that, um, you know, they love the new slam animation. But there's also, as you see in this little um, practice session here with Ortega and Zabit, that there could be a prompt where you can counter. And if your guy has it, look at this. You can step over, counter him, and then apply a submission on him. And the cool thing about this you know, you can restart the submission game, but then the tables are totally turned and you're going to be the one that's going to be mounting the offense, all right? So remember, to finish off this video, always remember when you're escaping the new choke submissions, move in quarter turns mostly and then sometimes half turns. But for me, most of the time, it's quarter turns at a steady pace. I know I'm repeating myself, but you got to get it kind of put into that memory bank and you got to remember it, especially when you're in a dogfight in ranked. All right, people? Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'll catch you in the next one and um, all the best to you and yours. Take care.
are you intoxicated or something?